probably the two biggest jerks, but I'd, the Caitlyn Nunu would actually be pretty good. But that's, again, a standard lane. That's true. Go. We are in the picks and bans now. As you can see on your screen, Prey Mad Life versus Double Lift. And it's special as we enter in to the Magma Chamber. I wonder if they're messing with Double Lift there by banning Draven. Because this happened before against Doublelift as well. The other team banned Draven, and it's only because Doublelift called him trash so much during the LCS. I, I think that's a subtle troll. Well, yesterday we saw a lot of Draven bans coming in. I think I'm going to go out on a limb and say that we've seen Draven constant bans here. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's just because, you know, if he hits level 2 before you, you're in a lot of trouble right away. Yeah, he would just run you down, catch his axes, and kill you. The only thing I actually saw it once was when Draven was given up, I think it was Link played a vein against it and just never let him catch an axe. Anytime he's running towards axe, you just condemn him back. But the Draven ban definitely makes the most sense. And the 2v2s definitely show us a lot of, not different bans, but there's no Annie here. There's no Elise coming out like there has been. The Quinn is so going to carry come out. Bans. So, yeah, mostly AD carries and the Thresh hooks. So Blitz is still there. Wow, Jarvan and Twitch, the possibility. Yes, so we saw a Jarvan yesterday. Which was another <laughs> fast game. That was the one, that, I think, the second fastest game that Toys. we've seen. One minute and 52 seconds it was in the end. That was ridiculous. It was really great because Jarvan was kind of pushed back and we were thinking, what's Jarvan going to do? going to do this? Boom, kill him. He's going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Two flag tosses in a row and the death. We have seen Twitch a few times. It gives you uh, a little bit of the element of surprise. But once you use that, it's kind of all in on the team fight. So it's, it's only like a here or there. We'll see if they can use it accordingly. Yeah, yeah Prey is sat with Teleport right now. We should mention that because you can use every uh, summoner spell here. Some of them, though, are uh, what we'd call, I think, useless at this point because Teleport, no no need for it. You can walk back to the lane of Barrier, Ignite, and Exhaust. Something else is what we'll see in that one. On the other side, it looks like we're going to have a Twitch yeah. and an Annie. We definitely have the two Twitches locked in. Jarvan just got locked as well. So that is a super aggro game. This entirely is going to be a super aggro game now that X Specials picked Annie as well. So I love that these guys have both went for slightly unconventional teams. Locking these in. We are going to be getting underway here on the Magma Chamber. Prey and Mad Life versus Doublelift and X Special. As we look to really windle down the 2v2 All-Stars. Man. So who's going to get first blood? <laughs> I don't know. Well, don't forget those rules in there. First blood doesn't give you a win in 2v2. You need two kills that can yeah. be, you know, one after the other or uh, two kills onto the same guy a little bit later on. But uh, we expected that 2v2 might be a little bit slower, but I guess Chaos, uh, sorry, not Chaos, X Special and Double Lift, that's just force of habit right now, <laughs> um, just proved us wrong with that one. One minute, and I think it was 42 seconds that they managed to record that in. 147. Yeah, and we have to remember that the Prey and Mad Life game went pretty much the distance. It was 11 minutes at 99 minion kills. They killed the turret. So there was almost every winning condition satisfied. But double X special went completely all in. And just based on the fact that we see two twitches plus aggressive supports, I don't think this one's going to be that long at all. And the elixir buy to the Doran. So there's oh, a bit of a safety more powerful. in that all in. They're more powerful with those red elixirs right now if they got a level one or a level two all in. And they actually took a an interesting route here around the side, getting themselves early on into that brush egg special has charged his stun up here which could be crucial coming forward mad life and prey though are going to show themselves no early attack so flag toss first for mad life i don't think he really has aggression until level two x special started with his w so he's going to try to charge up a stun he actually has it right now already energized if he can get a stun it would let double if get like a huge early trade at level one and they might even try to kill at level two so both of these guys might go all in real soon that was a great choice by x special because it's the aoe part of the stun so they can lock down both of those guys and there is a stun coming down prey ah, deciding not no. to follow up in that one Jarvan was off to the left hand side and i think double lift a little bit wary about pushing it and he's taken so much harass plus having no health potions if he gets all in here, it could be a little bit sketchy. Special trying to still charge up these spells. He's already down to half. He didn't do that on the fountain. And it's just going to be Mad Life Prey farming it out right onto Double Lift. This could be the first kill. Barriers exhaust on both sides. Double Lift very low. There is one kill. Prey may be able to walk out of this one alive. No, the auto attack and a wow. one for one. And that's pretty much the sketchy play we thought, but he. He stuck it out long enough, and they're still going. This could be it. Oh, my gosh. My life's going in there, and Expecial oh. is going to go down. And, well, over extend, you can see their Expecial hand on face. Bit of a face palm moment for him. Went a little bit too far in there. And the Korean side able to pick it up. Prey and Madlife, the winners of the 2v2 skills competition. You saw the Jarvan <laughs> yesterday. It only took two.